In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create Lambda functions with CDK using Java language. With AWS CDK, creating a Lambda function with Python or Node.js runtime is really very easy as you can specify your code in line. But when you're writing your Lambda functions in Java, you have to first create a jar file that should contain all your dependencies and this fat jar file you have to provide to your CDK and it's making this process a bit tricky. I will demo you this in the simplest possible way. This would be the directory structure of our application. Lambda CDK example would be the name of our project. This will be a multi-module Maven project with first module as functions that will have all your Lambda functions as separate Java classes. Second module would be the infra one that will have our CDK code. So we will initialize this infra module with CDK init command and we will specify both of these module in the pom.xml which you can see here. The asset directory which you see here is where the jar file would be copied when we build functions module. We will use maven shade plugin and on mvn package command we will save one copy of our fat jar file here in assets directory. So this dot jar file would be used by infra module as a source for our lambda functions. Just bear with me, this will make complete sense. I'll go to my IntelliJ now to start this project. This is my IntelliJ idea startup. I'll create a new project. I will use uh, archetype as quick start. And the name of the project, I can give it uh, lambda CDK example. And the group ID can be com dot vadara and artifact id is lambda cdk click next everything else i'll keep as it is i'll click finish so my project is created i want this as a multi-module project so first of all i'll delete this src directory i don't need this and then i will remove this maven compiler target and uh, source because i i don't need these i don't have any java code here I'll remove this dependency also. Our project is clean now. So what I can do here is I'll just right click here and create a new module here, which would be our functions module. Again, I'll create uh, this module from quick start archetype. Click next. And this would be our functions. And click next. Finish. This is created. So if you see here, uh, this is our POM. If you check here, so this module information is automatically added. Now I'll go to this functions directory. And first of all, I'll go to POM.xml. I'll change these uh, compiler source and target to 11. And I will specify java.version as 11. The next thing is I'll remove these extra plugins. I will add whatever is necessary later on. If I go to my main and you can see that we already have app.java here, which is standard, you know, Maven generated Java class. Remove this test also. We'll cover testing Lambda functions later in the videos. So this is my app.java. I'll just go and refactor and name this to hello world Lambda. I'll remove this main method. Okay, so this has not renamed it. So I will rename myself. Now we know that uh, for creating a Lambda function, if we have watched my previous video, we generally implement request handler for Lambda, but this request handler interfaces from the Lambda core library. Okay. And for that, I need to add that dependency to my pom.xml. So for that, I'll just generate and I'll click on add dependency. And you can search in IntelliJ which dependency you want to add. My dependency is for Amazon AWS and the name is AWS Lambda Java Core. So this is the first one. And if you want to see the details, you can check here. So this is AWS Lambda Java Core library. This is downloading from Maven Central and the author is AWS Lambda Teams. Click add here. If you go to the dependencies, you can see that this is already been added here. So I'll just refresh this this should give me option to import the class. So I will import this request handler and now request handler wants me to implement method. So which method handle request method. 
so with request handler you generally pass input and the return type so i am passing string string here i will change this to string and this to string also what i will just do is uh, i'll just return whatever i'm getting back with hello so i'm just passing let's say only the name here and i'll be returning the hello and name the last step for us is to add maven shade plugin in pom.xml of functions why that is required because let's say we are adding this dependency of lambda java core we have to include that in our jar file also because otherwise jvm would not be able to load this request handler on runtime and we would be getting the error right so i'll go to the pom i already have the shade plugin copied so i'll just paste it here i'll call plugins here and I'll paste it here. So this is done. I'll just re-import the Maven. I'll remove this. So if you see here, we are adding this configuration also. What we want from our shade plugin is once the package phase is completed, once we have the jar created with name function, we should copy the function jar to assets directory. And where is that? one directory up and then asset we will have one new directory here parallel to functions and the name would be assets and our jar file will be copied there and that jar file will contain all the classes required for aws lambda java core library now we will go and try to build this as of now we are in lambda cdk root folder and we have to go to functions and in functions we will call mvn clean package yeah, so this is success and if i go to my cdk example and if i reload from disk so you can see that we have this assets directory and we have function dot jar and if you want to see what difference this shade plugin created so let me just go to assets directory and now we have this function dot jar so let me unzip this so you can see we have everything related to our project which is hello world lambda class and we have all the classes with respect to amazon aws services and if we don't use shade plugin you won't have these aws related classes let me clear this i'll go back now so if you see here also the structure now is under com we have our directory hello world lambda and then we have amazon aws classes also so i hope this is clear our functions module is all sorted the next step is our infra module and for that let me just create a new directory here i will call this infra let me just go to infra here i'll just expand this so here in infra we would be using cdk for deploying our infrastructure what i will do here is i'll use cdk init for initializing the app and if you are not clear about cdk in it you should watch my previous videos so they should initialize a new app with java language okay, so it's all done i'll just delete this test directory now the first thing that i need to do is i should go to the base pom of our multi-module maven project and i will add a new module here and this module is infra I'll go to my infra app now and I'll just remove this uh, extra code here. I don't need to set environment because I've already bootstrapped my AWS environment. And if you're not clear on CDK bootstrap, you should watch my previous video. Rename this to Lambda CDK stack. I'll go to the infra stack.java now. Create a new Lambda function here. So before starting with your code here, just go and try to build the base POM also so that you know all the dependencies are loaded. So I'll just go to my base directory and call mvn clean install. They should build my both the modules. Yeah, it's success. I'll just go to my external libraries. Now I am able to see all the dependencies required. So this is the CDK related jar and this construct is also for the CDK. So I'll create a function and I'll call builder here and then create the function. We have to pass the scope of this construct and we are passing the current scope and we have to give the ID of the functions. Now the first thing is we should pass the 
run time since we created our function in java so i'll specify java 11 here the next thing is we have to pass the handler the handler for our lambda function is this we have to give the complete path here first the package and then class name the next thing is memory size 128 mb is fair enough for our lambda because we are just printing the name now after memory we should give the timeout also so timeout you can specify using duration class we can specify 20 seconds the next configuration is uh, function name and if you don't pass function name so name would be auto generated and that's not a user friendly name so i will always recommend specifying every assets name now the most important stuff where should we get the code from right so if you call code here so you have the option to specify the code from assets if you can see here and you can specify ecr image also you can specify inline so if you are creating a lambda function using python you can specify code inline also but for now we have uh, our jar file already created from the functions module and that's in the assets directory so i will use here from asset and i will pass the path here so i will go one directory back then assets directory and inside assets we have function.jar let's just check so in assets we have function.jar code is also specified and at the end we can call build here let me just go to infra module here first thing i want to do is i want to see the template that i would be creating so i will call cdk synth here yeah it's done so you can see cdk out here and if i open this template.json aws lambda function and then you have this all the configuration like you know runtime this memory this and timeout this so yeah this is it i can go to terminal again i will call cdk deploy here so my deployment is done i will go to my cloud formation now and i have this lambda cdk stack now if you see the resources I, I have this hello world lambda and if i click here i will go to this lambda function so you can see this is my hello world lambda code properties if you see here the package size is this and the runtime settings as we specified in our code if we want to now test our lambda function let me go to test here i'll pass a string value let's say ajay and call test here as you can see hello ajay here why because in our hello world lambda we specified hello space name now in future if let's say i need to do the change it would be very straightforward let's say i change hello to this is then the name then what i have to do is i will just go back to my functions directory and i will call mvn clean package I will go to my infra directory and I will call cdk deploy or let's say first I call cdk diff and you can see the cdk diff specified that uh, jar file is different and corresponding s3 key would be different so let's say we are okay with this and we want to go with the deployment and this will deploy your code within few seconds so this is really that simple let me refresh this and you can see last modified is 23 seconds ago i'll again go to the lambda and i go to test event name as test and let's say i pass the name as ajay test here you will see this is ajay so this is really simple so this is it from this video i hope you liked it